Lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Corinne. Welcome to the Battle of the Sponges, Battle of the Beauty Blenders. I recently just did a Instagram video all about how to clean your beauty blenders in the microwave. I had so many people message me going crazy, freaking out about the whole entire thing. And then on top of that, I had a bunch of people asking me questions about my favorite beauty blenders because I washed all four of these and so many people are like, well, do you like Real Techniques better? Do you like Morphe? Do you like the original beauty blender? Which one's your favorite? Can you tell us? And I was like, okay, well, I'll just go ahead and make a video about it since you guys are so interested. So the first one I'm gonna be talking about right here is the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Now, this one has gone through the ringer with me. I can honestly say that I think Real Techniques is probably my favorite beauty sponge because it's so extremely squishy. And I think that the pores are a lot smaller on the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge than on the Beauty Blender. So you can see that this one, the pores are a lot more noticeable. And then on this Beauty Sponge, it's a lot more smooth looking, I guess you could say. So when it comes to doing my makeup, I want a more flawless and smooth finish rather than using a sponge that's gonna basically put a bunch of like pore dots all over my face. Usually when I do my face makeup, I do this one for my whole entire face. So this Real Technique sponge is also really good for my liquid bronzer because if you've been watching my videos, you know that I have been really into using liquid bronzer lately. And I feel like the reason why I love using this so much is because it's kind of, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of skinny and it like has the same shape to it going all the way down. Whereas like the Beauty Blender is a teardrop. It's a full teardrop, but this one kind of keeps its shape going all the way up until it gets to the end where it points a little bit. But I feel like that's really good for pressing in the contour or the bronzer and just making it look really good. And I just love how smooth it applies everything. And then I will move into the actual Beauty Blender. So the whole reason I love the Beauty Blender is because of this point right here. This point is perfect for getting into your under eyes. So when I go and do my concealer, this is the sponge that I grab for because it gets perfectly underneath my eyes. Another reason why I love the Beauty Blender is because it perfectly applies highlight. So the next sponge I'm talking about is this Morphe sponge right here. So I just picked up this sponge from Ulta about a week ago and I have mixed feelings about it because if you look at it, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell, but this one, the Real Techniques one, is way squishier than the Morphe one. The Morphe one is pretty firm, and I don't know if that's just because this one has gone through the ringer, and, and I've used this sponge so many times that it's finally kind of broken in. I'm not sure if that's what's gonna happen with this Morphe sponge, because usually when you do get a sponge, it is a little bit more stiff in the beginning, and then it kind of loosens up and gets a little squishier after you um, use it a bunch and clean it a bunch. So I'm hoping that's what's gonna happen with this one. Another reason I actually really enjoy using this sponge is for baking. So I love using this for baking and also I really like using this for applying highlight too, just because I feel like this area on the sponge right here just touches perfectly against my skin to apply the highlight. Whereas with this Beauty Blender, um, the bottom is a lot bigger than the side of this Beauty Blender, so it applies a lot more products, whereas this one is a little more precise, and I like the preciseness of the application when it comes to my highlight. Next sponge that I have here is another Real Technique sponge, and this is the Diamond sponge that they have. And the texture and the feeling of this Beauty Sponge is exactly like the original uh, Real Technique sponge right here. So I love the texture, I love the feel, and I love the squishiness. Like I hope you guys can see like how just squishy these are. Again, I'll compare it to the Morphe. I'm doing like the same amount of squish and look how squishy this one is. So originally when I bought this, um, what I had in mind was using it around my brows, which I actually can do with this Morphe sponge right here as well. It goes perfectly around my brows, but originally when I bought this, I was thinking, wow, that would be perfect because I do my brows and my eyes first and I'll be able to kind of carve out my brow when I'm putting my foundation on. The point on this I think is a little too severe for me when it comes to applying your concealer because the end of this is a little too flimsy, I think. It's just, 
It's so pointy that it's too pointy and like too flimsy. So I don't really care for using that to apply concealer. But this sponge right here is really good for baking as well. And then I always make sure to pick this one up at the very end when I'm done with my foundation and I just go in and press everything in. Because the bottom of this diamond beauty sponge has such a big surface area, I just love going around my face and making sure that all of my foundation is pressed in perfectly and it does an amazing job with that. So I honestly use all four of these sponges almost daily, but if I had to pick just one that I would recommend to you, it would be this one for sure. Basically this sponge right here is all of these in one because it does have that point and if I wanted to, I could squeeze it at the end to make it a little more detailed. It also has kind of the cut end where you could take it and bake with. And it's also perfect for applying your foundation all over your face. And like I said before, I love how smoothly it applies because the pores are so tiny on it. This is the beauty sponge that I use on all of my clients. I think that it applies perfectly and it's very, very, very affordable. I really don't think it's necessary to spend 20 to 23 bucks on a beauty sponge when you could go to Ulta and grab one that is just as amazing, bigger in size and can do everything and more than this beauty blender can for just a way cheaper price. I definitely recommend the Real Techniques beauty sponge to you guys. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you follow me on all of my social medias. I always put them on the screen right here for you and I link them down below. Hope that you are enjoying your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.